G'day folks, I'm Mick van Sale from Ironman 4x4. And now for something completely different in the words of Monty Python. Today I want to talk to you about in-car entertainment. And we're talking about car radios, amplifiers and speakers. Not quite a four-wheel driving topic, but certainly pertinent to our four-wheel drive. And if you spend any amount of time in your four-wheel drive overlanding, you might find this very interesting. Before we get to the juicy bits, that's the head units, the amps and the speakers, I want to talk very briefly about sound insulation and sound deadening. It is a facet of in-car entertainment upgrading that gets often overlooked. It has a rather significant importance when it comes to four-wheel drives. We modify four-wheel drives, we add a whole lot of accessories to the outside of the vehicle. I'm talking about roof racks, snorkels, bull bars very grabby all-terrain tires and all of those things conspire to increase the noise levels of these vehicles especially at highway speeds when you're traveling over land. So by applying sound deadening to the vehicle you will actually drop those noise levels down and you will suffer less fatigue when overlanding. That's really what it boils down to. So what the sound deadening in a vehicle typically entails is, and if you do it properly, is to strip the entire inside of the vehicle out. I'm talking about all the panels, door panels, I'm talking about all the carpeting, I'm talking about the roof lining, everything excepting the upper half of the dashboard uh, gets taken out of the vehicle, down to the metal. And the reason you need to do that is because you have to apply this acoustic material to every single square inch of metal on the inside of the vehicle. This Acoustic material consists of a metal foil. It's, it's like a, a very thick foil on the one side. This is the side that uh, points to the inside of the vehicle. And the back of this is a very sticky, dampening, almost bitumen-like material. The two of them are sandwiched together. And you basically cut this out into manageable squares and you apply it to all the metal surfaces inside the vehicle. What it's actually doing is it is dampening the resonance of the metal parts of the vehicle. So when all this noise is happening outside the vehicle, the wind noise, the road noise, the tire noise, it is making the car's body panels resonate and that gets transferred inside the vehicle and that's what you're hearing. It's drowning out your original radio, it's making your head hurt, it's making you tired. So by applying this dampening mass material, you're taking that resonance away and you're taking the transfer of that outside noise to the inside of the vehicle you're taking it away. The other thing this, this material does is it keeps the sound from your sound system inside the vehicle so you don't have to crank the hell out of your stereo system to hear what's going on. So those are the two major benefits of doing sound installation to your vehicle. Keeping the unwanted noises out and keeping the wanted noises in. That type of job on the vehicle is best done by professionals. It can be done as a DIY job. I want to warn you, however, that it is quite a major job. The last vehicle that I did, my own vehicle, took five days. It was a Ford Ranger Wildtrak. There's a hell of a lot of stuff to take out, and you've got to know what you're doing, and you've got to put everything back together properly, otherwise you'll end up with rattles and whatnot. So it's a, a bit of an expensive exercise. Can be done DIY, but uh, unless you really know what you're doing, I'd rather get the pros to do it. So for the Iron Van Hilux, what we're doing is we're doing sort of a medium upgrade to the sound system. We're definitely going to be putting a high-end uh, head unit in, something that's got high power output, maybe 50 watts a channel, something that features CarPlay, and something that we can fit a power amplifier to at a later stage if we choose to do that. We're also going to be fitting some uprated Focal speakers. Uh, these are made to fit Toyota vehicles, the Hilux in this case. Um, the original speaker gets removed from its location and this pops straight in there, three pop rivets and it even accommodates the original Toyota uh, speaker wire clip onto it. So again there is no cutting, shutting or soldering of any of the vehicle's uh, wiring. Um, as far as the speakers are concerned, in the front we are going to go with a split system. So we're going to be mounting the tweeter in the actual location of the original tweeter um, and that way we will enhance the sound stage of the sound in the front of the vehicle. In the rear, we're fitting some coaxes. It's just for some rear fill. We'll actually turn the volume on these down in the back. We don't want the back overpowering the front. We want the sound stage to be ahead of the dashboard so that it, it sounds like you're listening to a concert. We're also be, on the doors going to be doing double insulation. So we're gonna be covering the inner skin, uh, inner surface of the outer skin of the door and we're also gonna be uh, covering the inner skin of the door. So double insulation. The reason we do that is to create a bit more of an enclosure that the speaker mounts into. The other thing that we're going to be doing is over and above the sound insulation is we're gonna be fitting some diffuser material 
behind the speaker against the inner surface of the, of the door. And the functionality of this material is really to absorb and diffuse the sound that is coming out of the rear of the speaker so that it doesn't interfere with what you're hearing come out of the front of the speaker. So a little touch, very important, does make a difference. The original head unit in the Hilux has got a massive piece of, of dashboard trim around it which looks like this. In order for us to fit an aftermarket head unit, we have to get an additional trim panel like this to accommodate the head unit. They're freely available. They're of the same quality as the trim in the Hilux, but you definitely need that to do the upgrade. So that's really it, guys. New head unit, some new speakers, some proper sound insulation, and uh, let's get stuck in. Guys, I wanted to show you what it looks like behind the door panel while we're stripping the vehicle. Um, this here is some weatherproof material that you find in any door. We'll be removing that and we will cover this entire surface with our new sound deadening material. We'll also be applying it to the inner surface of the outer skin of the door, giving us a double insulation layer, also creating a bit of an enclosure inside the door, which is good for the reproduction and the amplification of the sound coming out of the speaker. This is the original woofer from Toyota, which we'll be taking out, and we'll be popping into its place this Focal Fit for Toyota speaker. That wire and uh, a clip from the radio will clip straight into this, so there's no cutting and soldering of the, the car's original wiring. This Toyota did actually come with a split system in the front. So woofer down there, tweeter in the top here in this panel which sits above, above the door panel. So we'll just be popping this original tweeter out of here and we'll be fitting the Focal replacement tweeter in its place. Guys, we're almost done with the sound insulation on our Hilux. Um, I just wanted to briefly show you the difference between before and after. So this door has already been done. We've applied the sound insulation, double skinned, as we said we were going to. So the inner surface of the outer skin and this skin has been fitted. This door, the front door, hasn't been done yet. We'll get to this in a moment. But you can clearly hear the difference between a door that's been insulated 
and a door without insulation. That's just a huge difference. Even just opening and closing the door, it just makes the vehicle sound so much better. We have uh, completed the sound insulation uh, upgrade to the vehicle. We've also installed the speaker system behind the door panels when we reassemble the interior of the vehicle. All that's left now is to replace the head unit. Um, just to recap very briefly, the original head unit is a low power unit. We'll be replacing it with this high power aftermarket unit. Um, it's got more than double the power of the original radio. That's one of the advantages. Another advantage that this aftermarket head unit has is it features Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, which from a safety aspect is very important. It allows you to use your phone totally hands-free. And another thing that uh, a lot of people are unaware of is the fact that the original head units in most vehicles when you start turning the volume up, it actually starts cutting away the bass sounds due to the fact that the original speakers are very low power and they can't really generate or handle a lot of bass. So uh, as you're turning the music up, all you're hearing is your mid and your high treble sounds are, are getting louder and the bass is fading away, which is you know, not great to listen to. So this aftermarket head unit doesn't do that. It gives you the full spectrum of, of frequency amplified and as you're turning your sound up when you want to listen to it louder, everything, you, you hear everything that you're supposed to hear in the music. So we're going to whip this out quickly, stick this one in, it's pretty much plug and play and once we're done we'll uh, have a listen to what it sounds like. So folks, we've now fitted the new aftermarket head unit to our Einvan Hilux, and I'm very impressed with the results. High power unit driving better quality speakers, better. So there's more sound, clearer sound. The bass definition is very good, even at higher volumes. Um, one of the more important features for me is that it is a CarPlay unit. So when you're using your phone, you can just, you know, hit the button and tell Siri to take you home or to play your music, very safe. It, it's a safety critical feature and it should be in every vehicle, I think. That's my opinion. Uh, the car is a lot quieter on the road, especially with the, this, the sound deadening now, which is great for our film crew. But you also don't have to crank the hell out of the radio to hear anything and also in talking to each other and there's less fatigue over longer trips. So all around a good result, a bit of work, but well worth the investment.